Welcome back. Well, thousands of people are in need of organ transplants across our nation, but nearly a year ago, a Sandersville woman saved a man's life. She donated one of her own kidneys to her best friend's dad. Our Sarah Hammond shows us how the pair is celebrating their transplant anniversary and showing others how they might also be able to help. It's a story that comes straight from the heart. I'm thankful I'm, I'm for you. I'm more thankful for you and you are me. Give me a smile. Nearly one year ago, Soretta Griffith donated her kidney to her best friend's dad. I'm, I'm not a, just a perfect, wonderful person to do this. Anybody can do this. John Bailey was on dialysis for three years after doctors told him his kidney was failing. I couldn't have made it very much longer, probably a year. Griffith says testing showed she was an exact match and the donation process began. Then it hit me that I'm going to have to live again. Griffith says when people find out she's a live donor, they ask the same question. What if one of my children needed a kidney? And my thing is that you can't live your life on what if. Griffith and Bailey both want people to know that being a live donor is a much more viable option than waiting until after you've passed away. Show that it doesn't diminish your quality of life. That's Kidneys from a live donor typically last longer than from a deceased donor, according to the National Kidney Foundation. You are able to continue living and you just you get to be happier because you save someone. Griffith says they want to celebrate their transplant anniversary by encouraging others to become donors while they are still alive. It was a long process. You have to do a lot of testing, a lot of blood work. Um, that's very worth it. <laughs> Bailey says he will never forget what she did for him. But she saved me from going underground. And I owe her something the rest of her day. And mine too. In Sandersville, Sarah Hammond, 13 WMAZ News. Griffith says the whole process lasted a little over a year and they both recovered quickly. She says the only reward she needs is seeing Bailey up and walking around with a smile on his face. A very excellent story, Courtney.